Animal Children. Now here's a little lady who seems a wee bit shy. Or is it that a teardrop is trembling in her eye? Well, I'm sure that you or I would make an awful fuss if we should have to have her name, Miss Hippopotamus. In Animal Land, as everywhere, there lives a Mr. Boar, who never is contented unless he holds the floor. His fellows all may frown at him, but he cannot refrain from pushing into everything. He's so selfish and so vain. Mother and father and little Miss Bear went out for a walk and a bit of fresh air. Not through the dark woods, the old tale to repeat, but in their best clothes, right down the front street. When little Miss Polar Bear goes out to skate, she never is bothered by having to wait, until mother wraps her all snugly in fur, for those are the clothes she carries with her. Just look about and see if you can find a friend who's quite as true as this old doggy that you see a smiling year at you and me. I'm just a little puppy and good as good can be. And why they call me naughty, I'm sure I cannot see. I've only carried off one shoe and torn the baby's hat and chased the ducks and spilt the milk. There's nothing bad in that. The mandrel looks so very queer. I'm glad he lives way off from here. He's purple, blue, red, black and brown. I'm sure he is the jungle clown. The baby gorilla of the family called Ape is very like you in size and in shape. But he lives in the jungle with black hair for clothes and he gets very naughty the older he grows. This cute little brother and sister you see seated cosily high on the limb of a tree, are the marmoset twins whose appealing round eyes look from flower-like faces in wondering surprise. I've climbed up here to smile at you, and oh, what do you think? I've scattered Master's papers and upset all of his ink. But then if little monkeys always were so very good, they'd not be little monkeys who just can't act as they should. <laughs>